I went straight to my ship, commanding all hands to take to the decks and cast off cables quickly. They swung aboard at once. They sat to the oars in ranks and in rhythm churned the water white with stroke on stroke and served the nymph with glossy braids. The awesome one who speaks with human voice sent us a hardy shipmate. Yes, a fresh following wind ruffling up in our wake, bellying out our sail to drive our blue prow on as we, securing the running gear from stem to stern, sat back while the wind and helmsman kept her true on course. At last, I saw at heart, I told my shipmates. Friends, it's wrong for only one or two to know the revelations that lovely Cirque made to me alone. I'll tell you all, so we can die with our eyes wide open now, or escape our fate and certain death together. First, she warns, we must steer clear of the sirens, their enchanting song, their meadow starred with flowers, I alone was to hear their voices, so she said. But you must bind me with tight chafing ropes so I cannot move a muscle, bound to the spot, erect at the mast block, lashed by ropes to the mast, and if I plead, commanding you to set me free, then lash me faster, rope on pressing rope. shipmates point by point. All the while our trim ship was speeding towards the Sirens Island, driven on by the brisk wind. But then the wind fell in an instant, all glazed to a dead calm. A mysterious power hushed the heaving swells. The oarsmen leapt to their feet struck the sail, stowed it deep in the hold, and sat to the oarlocks, thrashing with polished oars, frothing the water white. Now with a sharp sword, I sliced an ample wheel of beeswax down into pieces, kneaded them in my two strong hands, and the wax soon grew soft. Worked by my strength and Helios's burning rays, the sun at high noon, and I stopped the ears of my comrades one by one. They bound me hand and foot in the tight ship, erect at the mast block, lashed by ropes to the mast, and rowed and churned the white cap stroke on stroke. We were just offshore, as far as a man's shout can carry, scudding close, when the siren sensed at once a ship was racing past, and burst into their high, thrilling song. Come closer, famous Elysius, Aegis pride and glory. Warrior sheep on our coast, so you can hear a song. Never has the sail passed our shores in his black craft. As he has heard the hallowed voices Roaring from our lips, and once he hears to his heart's content, still song, a wise man. We know all the pains that Achaeans and Trojans once endured on the spreading plain of Troy, but the gods willed it so. All the comes to pass on the first earth, we know it all. So they sent their ravishing voices out across the air. And the heart inside me throbbed to listen longer. It signaled the crew with frowns to set me free. They flung themselves at the oars and rowed on harder. Perimedes and Eurolochus springing up at once to bind me faster with rope on chafing rope. 
house Once we'd left the sirens fading in our wake Once we could hear their songs no more Their urgent call My steadfast crew was quick to remove the wax I'd used To seal their ears and loose the bonds that lashed me 